was to evaluate the function at the given points below. We were given the function of two variables, f of x comma y equals x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 7. We're first asked to find f of a comma negative 8. To determine f of a comma negative 8, we substitute a for x and we substitute negative 8 for y. f of a comma negative 8 is equal to the square of a plus the square of negative 8 minus 2 times a plus 7. Again, to determine f of a comma negative 8, we substituted a for x here and here, and we substituted negative 8 for y here. And now simplifying the right side, the square of a is a squared. The square of negative 8 is 64, giving us plus 64. Minus 2 times a gives us minus 2a, and then we have plus 7. Notice how we do have two like terms. We have two constants, 64 plus 7 is 71. And therefore, f of a comma negative 8 is equal to a squared minus 2a plus 71. Next, we want to determine f of y comma x, which means we now substitute y for x, and we substitute x for y. f of y comma x is equal to, again, we substitute y for x and x for y. Performing the substitution gives us the square of y plus the square of x minus 2 times y plus 7. Simplifying, the square of y is y squared plus the square of x is x squared. Then we have minus 2y plus 7. While we don't have to, we normally write the variables in alphabetical order and in descending order. Let's go ahead and write f of y comma x as x squared plus y squared minus 2y plus 7. Next, to find f of x plus h comma y plus h, we substitute the quantity x plus h for x and the quantity y plus h for y. f of x plus h comma y plus h is equal to, again, we substitute x plus h for x and y plus h for y. This gives us the square of x plus h plus the square of y plus h minus 2 times the quantity x plus h plus 7. Now we could stop here, enter this as our function, and get full credit, but I also want to show how we can multiply this out and write the function in expanded form. Expanding, we have two factors of x plus h plus two factors of y plus h. Distributing negative 2, we have minus 2x minus 2h plus 7. To multiply the binomials, we have four products. For the first product, we distribute x, then distribute h. For the second product, we distribute y, then distribute h. For the first product, x times x is x squared. Then we have x times h, which is hx. But also notice how the next product is also hx, giving us plus 2hx and then plus h squared plus y times y is y squared, plus y times h, which is hy. But again, notice how the next product is also hy, giving us plus 2hy, and then plus h times h, which gives us h squared. And then we still have minus 2x, minus 2h, plus 7. After multiplying all this out, we only have two like terms. We have two h squared terms. So h squared plus h squared is 2h squared. And then we have plus x squared plus y squared plus 2hx plus 2hy minus 2h minus 2x plus 7. So for this last function, we can enter this form here, the first line, or the expanded form, from the last line.
both forms are accepted. I'm going to go ahead and enter expanded form, which is 2h squared plus x squared plus y squared plus 2hx plus 2hy minus 2h minus 2x plus 7. Notice for these three examples, when one of the inputs is a variable, the output is another function, not a constant, like our first three examples in the previous video. I hope you found this helpful.